Very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on the UK's number one radio station. That is the one for you. And this is three hours of superb, scintillating, wonderful entertainment made possible by you, the people of the British nation. Now, it's a phone-in programme, so-called, because what you have to do is phone in. Uh, please do not phone in if you don't have access to a telephone. And also, no half-wit, even full wits in moderation. Of course, no politics football, religion, no swearing, no second names, no names of products, no names of individuals. The rules, I mean, uh, you know. Now, uh, you're listening to Scotty McClue. I'd better spell it for you. Capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. McClue, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. And I have two telephone numbers, which I will gladly give you. Normally, I give you the telephone numbers as and when it suits me, but I'm going to give you them just now tonight because I'm feeling very benefactorial. Uh, that's a good one, isn't it? I don't know what it means, but I'm feeling very benefactorial, and uh, therefore the numbers are. Now, if you don't wish those numbers for any reason at all, please, please look away now. There we are, right for the rest of you. Normal pace, normal pace, and then uh, slowly for the heart of thinking. Right, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, that's uh, the northwest of England and all points north and west to America, the West Indies and North America, then uh, your number would be, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, that's the East Midlands and all points south and east to uh, the Low Countries and Scandinavia. I'll give them in a moment for the hard of thinking. I'll tell you our main subjects for discussion this Monday night. Uh, Monday night, you see, nothing gets past me. Transplant patients who receive uh, pig's hearts and lungs will have to sign a pledge never to have children. Now, what do I think we should do? I know it's wonderful we've got all this genetic engineering and isolating genes and what have you, but I think if you've got a genetic illness then you shouldn't actually be allowed to have children either and that would soon stamp out those genetic illnesses so if you've got a congenital disease then please i do not think you should be having children and that means you won't pass it on and it will soon come out of the human chain uh, so that's one thing the other one is a whole more than three out of four people think it's reasonable to discipline a child with a smack a poll revealed yesterday the number who approved of smacking appears to be rising despite a campaign led by children's charities to make it illegal. Some 70%, 76% of adults believe that parents should have the right to smack their children on the bottom with the palm of their hand. Um, so there we are. Now, I uh, think this is absolutely dreadful and it is a disgraceful, disgusting, humiliating process and I do not think that any child should be beaten. I was in a bookshop uh, in a well-known uh, a well-known shopping centre yesterday and uh, there was a mother there and she said to the child uh, stop being so challenging and I thought what an advanced thinker she is and then suddenly without warning she slapped him right across the face right across the side of the head and said don't push me and the father stood there and just looked on and I thought to myself that is absolutely disgusting and disgraceful in the 20th century going into the 20th first that we are still hitting children so um, i'm sorry but i was very unimpressed by that woman and uh, i didn't want to actually make a scene in the bookshop but it was it was it was disgusting what happened i was appalled and this poll i think if any of you have contributed to this poll saying it's all right to smack your kids then you should hang your heads in shame i am disgusted 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 with the lot of you so there you are that's what i think about smacking kids no way jose right so there you are and uh, as for members of the public said ah oh, quite right give them a good slap didn't do me any a lot of rubbish violence breeds violence and for me a big tough glasgow man to be standing in that bookshop yesterday to see that happen i was absolutely a th and then you will always have them so that you can join in the greatest mass debate that uh, this country has ever heard right so i'll say them again slowly nine one oh now if you try either of those numbers at the moment they will be engaged because we are jammed out of the door with people calling having said that please i beg of you keep trying keep trying keep trying redial 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 like robert the bruce and the spider and before the night's out at one o'clock we'll get you all on right book your calls now get your telephones off to bolton to talk to debbie are you there debbie darling <laughs> dinky do debbie you there love hello hello Hi, this is Debbie from Bolton. Yes, we know that. That's why we're calling you Debbie from Bolton. Uh, we've staffed office for 
Society for Lonely People in Bolton. You start off a Society for Lonely People? Yeah. Oh, well, I hope you're not including me in that. We are your leader. I'm your leader, darling? Yeah. Oh, my goodness me. But I'm not a lonely person. Well, we've got, like, 20 people around together. They come around at 10 o'clock every night and listen to you. Oh, brilliant. Well, well I think you deserve the clap yeah. for that. There you go. That's nice, wonderful. <laughs> That's what, all right, darling. There's a lot of people who are on their own, single parents, like yes. myself. Oh, we all the come lonely together. people. Where do they all come we from? We do at 10 o'clock, and we call you lead of our pack. Leader of the pack? That's yeah. the stuff. And That's why know, I fell for the leader of the pack. Can I the name? You've heard it. Yes. I've called us McClue's Witnesses. McClue's Witnesses, love. And they all come around every night and listen to you. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> well, I say dinky do. Dinky do, and, and we all love listening to you every I love, night. I love to you and all the rest of them. Mm -hmm. All the lonely people, where do they all well, come we've from? We've got 20. We only started off with three, and we've got 20 that's now. Fan that's fantastic, love. And they, they all come. Do you know what we, we call it? Ten, we say 10 o'clock, we have mass. Good lord. And we serve drink yeah. and we call it Holy Communion. You have maths, and is that short for mathematics? Holy McClellan. Uh, Holy, Holy, Ho Holy McClellan. I'm getting me as a. Right. Holy McClellan. <laughs> I better dash now. We, we serve alcohol. Oh, don't serve alcohol, love. It's communion, we call it Holy Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> right, I better dash. That you are here, love. I, and, and you're mine, and dinky do. McClellan's witnesses. Thank you too out to anyone who wants to join us at some mass from 10 to 1 a.m. All right, darling, thank you do. Thank you do. Thank you do. There we are. Now, if anybody wants to join McClue's witnesses, apparently, there's maths. Um, and I don't know about arithmetic, but it's from 10 o'clock and uh, it's in Bolton. Right. There's 20 of them. Harold! Hello. Hello, Harold. All right, Scotty. Dinky do. How are you, mate? Dinky do. I'm all right. The rest of the world's crazy. Oh, slightly bananas, I think, Harold. <laughs> right, what it is, you know, you're talking about the kids and all that. Yes. And all that. It's a good job I wasn't in that shop with you, mate. That's all I can say. What, what would you have done, given the woman are doing? No, I'd have gone right to the husband, didn't I? Is what? I'd have gone right to her husband. I and said to you, know, well, what are you doing? I well, he was standing there. I'm wondering if he used to get a slap off it as well. well more than likely. Because he was standing looking very sheepish. Oh, well, he's probably frightened of the woman. You know? Oh, definitely. I'd, definitely. I'd like to tell you something. But there, at Scotty. first I thought she was quite advanced because she said to the child... Stop being so challenging. Stop right? being so challenging. Stop being so. I thought, oh, this is quite advanced thinking because normally you say to the child, "Shut up, well, you." Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. You know, yeah. but uh, she said, "Stop being so challenging." He was a nice lad too, yeah. and uh, then she just went wallop right across the side of his face. Well, obviously that woman needs educating. Serious educating. Serious educating. Now, if you don't mind me telling you, Scotty, I'm on my toes at the moment from the police. Right. All through a woman. Right. Right, yeah. And I'll tell you, on the 15th of uh, September, yeah. this woman, my ex-missus, uh, stabbed me six times in the back. <sighs> six times. Right? <sighs> and the following evening, my baby, who was 26 and six foot two, my son, he's my baby. Right. He beat me unconscious. Yes, I'm just wondering if there's some other way we could socialise your family. That's right, yeah, well... You know, because I don't really think you deserve all this. No, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm 52 years You old. know, I've had things like a shake of the hand and a pat in the back now and yeah. again. But, I mean, been stabbed six times by the missus yeah. and been beaten senseless by your kid. That's right. You know, I think well, really, there's maybe, you know... I'm just wondering if you should come to my house. Well, what I'll, I'll, give you We'll give you a decent bit of food and you can, you know, watch the telly and do yeah. not normal things. Is right, yeah. Well, Scotty, listen, on both occasions, I kept my hands in my pockets because I'm ex Royal Marine, done and the business in the Falklands. And you would have ended up having yeah. them in tatters. Oh, well, there you go, isn't it? No. Right, so... You're a top man. What I'm saying is, um, at the end of that evening, who was the one who got arrested? You did. I did. Oh, my God. Right, so... What's up with these people? What is up with this family? Well... Do they not realise that you're a top man? No, well, that, they've got to, they're still not educated. They certainly are not. Right, so, uh, I gave up the booze for four years for that woman. Yeah, good man. I did, but now I'm back on it. Oh, I haven't drank tonight. I'm quite sober. But I'd just like you to know. Say nothing. Oh, I don't mind. I haven't seen you. Right. Any road. 
Well, I'll tell you something. You know, at my age, you'll get, like, a plate of Turkish delight. Oh, that'd be nice. You know, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that'd be nice. <laughs> you know, sorry, but uh, you won't get stabbed in the back or, or beaten up. My God, oh my. But that was very good of you to uh, to keep your hands in your pockets, I'll oh, tell you. I've never raised my hands to my children in my life. Oh, that's wonderful. But now my baby son's raised this to me. Now, you know, there's oh. something, look, something gone wrong there. Thank you very much, Sergeant Major. Scotty McClue's Late Night Phone-In. Have you phoned yet? Think you do. To Scotty McClue's megaphone in. We're live on dial. Rather a lot to get through tonight. Very, very busy telephone lines. So if you're calling, keep calling. That's what I say. We'll get you all on. The Wizard of the Big Switchboard will take your call. He's also signing for the daft. We're off to Nottingham to speak to Derek. Dink you do, Derek. Hello, Scotty Dink you do. How are you? Dink you do, boss. Very well indeed. Yeah, it's the first time I've it's the first time I've ever listened to you, my friend. Well, welcome to the programme, I say. Yeah. Uh, have, uh, you, have you come from another planet, Derek? No, I used to live in Sheffield. Ah, nothing wrong with that. They'll be able to help you. Yeah, uh, I used to really enjoy it, my friend. Absolutely, and and you didn't realise you used to listen to me in Sheffield? Yeah, I used to really enjoy listening to you at the night time. Fantastic. Well, it's nice to be back, I see. Back in South Yorkshire and uh, in Derbyshire, yeah. Leicestershire, yeah. Nottinghamshire. Yes, I, um, I used to... <coughs> I used to be in the St. John's Ambulance Brigade at Sheffield. Get away with you, did you? Yes, I'm how, still in it now. How many bones in the human body? About a couple. <laughs> a couple? Of yeah. what? A couple of hundred? Yeah. I, I, I also attend the John group now as well. Can you do a uh, resuscitation? Yeah. Yes? Right, do us a resuscitation, starting with the boy stood on the bombing deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his feet were full of blisters, he couldn't find his underpants, so he had to bury his sisters. I'd, I've just got you on the radio. I've just got you on the radio, but I, I can't hear myself talking on it. <laughs> you can't hear yourself talking. No. Well, that's because you're talking. Yeah. You can only hear yourself talking when you shut up. You see. Yeah. It, I, I beg your pardon. I, I go. I go to a drama group now. You're in a drama group. Yeah. And what? What are you doing? Are you doing the importance of being earnest? I'm. I'm doing backstage. Oh, you're doing backstage, so we won't be able to see very much of you. No. Uh, what about? Uh, have you got a walk-on part? Well, no, uh, this church where I go to down the road... Yup. Um, um, is it big? Fantastic. Uh, I mean... And you... tell me, what sort of, uh, what sort of plays do you do? Well, we do about 20 plays a year. 20 plays a year? Yeah, we actually do, oh. um, this one what we're doing now, uh, we're doing Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin? Yeah. Rumpelstiltskin is my name. So we, we, uh... Fantastic. We, we're doing that this year. Yes. Yeah. Uh, is it, is it is it Rumpelstiltskin the story about Rapunzel let down your hair? Yeah, Rapunzel let down your hair. Rapunzel let down your hair. Yeah, absolutely. We, I've I've been with them now for about five years, and I'm really enjoying it. Hey, that is fantastic, mate. I'm chuffed a bit because it's very good for you, the drama club. Yeah, well, I'll tell you. First started going back a couple of years ago. Um, me and my friend. We used to go to the Theatre Royal. Yes. And he, we decided that the, the church, our minister, he's retiring, and he said to us, oh, oh we'll get a, do you want a drama group going together? So we put a drama group together. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, it's been lovely to talk to you, and uh, I shall speak to you again. Can you send me a photo of you? I don't have a photo of the... You can't send obscene material through the post. Uh, <laughs> I'm only joking, you know. If you, if you want to come but, to that pantomime, you're quite welcome to come. You're fantastic. You're fantastic. And lovely to talk to you. Yeah. I've and, never, and remember, Rumpelstiltskin is my name. Yeah. yeah that, they uh, ought to call you Rumpelstiltskin. I am Rumpelstiltskin. I am Baron Hardop. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I've disturbed you then. You've disturbed me? Yeah. I've... Uh, everybody's listening to me now. Huh? Oh, everybody's listening to me, about 10 million people. So I'd better go, I'll give you some applause. There we are. <laughs> Marvellous. We're off to Wallasey to talk to Paul. Dinky do, Paul. Hiya. Hiya, Hiya. Josie. How are you? All right, thanks. Um, just like to point out before I start talking. Yeah, uh, yes, love. Have you not started talking yet? I haven't. Right, okay. A big hold up on the uh, Thelwall Viaduct. On the what? 
Thalwall Viaduct. Oh, on the Thalwall ra- Viaduct, right? The Viaduct. No, there's been a lorry burnt out, so I'd just like to point oh, out... Oh, much appreciated, much appreciated, mate. Right. And um, also, I'd like to point out about this French ban on British beef. The French ban? On British beef. Yes. They reckon the, the agricultural ministry or whatever are going to put British flags on the British beef so that people don't buy French. Right. Right. I, I don't oh. think we should buy French anything. Well, if I, if I saw a British flag on the beef, I wouldn't buy that. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Get mad cow disease. Not at all. You won't. That's the whole thing. It's quite safe. No, I'd buy Scottish beef. Yes. Angus. <laughs> a- Angus is a nice chap, yes? Oh, yes. He's very good. Angus the butcher. Get the best, the best beef in Scotland. The very good beef. Very nice beef. And do you like a couple of pounds of Cumberland yourself? I am. Very hungry, actually, yeah. You're, you're a hungry man. <laughs> and where are you off to tonight? Um, I'm off to Northwich, then right. I'm off to Wallasey. Oh, my God. Oh. And, uh, and then half six in the morning, I'm off to Hereford. You're remarkable. Well, you'll get, you'll make sure you tune in to Surrey all the way. Oh, yes. Yeah. How hey. are you keeping, anyway? I'm not too bad for my age, thank you. <laughs> Very good. Hey. So, what, what do you think about non-stop? Oh, I don't know anything about them. I don't know anything. I've never heard of them. I think it, I think it's bad because they're getting shut. Well, I've never heard of them, so it doesn't really matter. Right, there we are. Now, who else have I got? I've got Tom. Tom's in Leicester. Hello, Tom. Dinky you do? All right, Scotty. All right, mate. How you doing? I'm very well, thank you. So, what do you think of the French, then? The French? Mm, what, what do we? What do I think of them? Uh, they reckon that we feed our cows with crap and they, what they're doing. They're oh, I'm shocked. It's disgusting. The French should be ashamed of themselves. Should do. Yes. C'est très, très mal. That's très, that. très mal, I say. Mm. Me. So why do you leave uh, the, co- the Scottish station then? The Scottish station? Uh. Well, some new people bought it. All right. And uh, they said they didn't want me. You're the best Scotty man at the end of the day. Well, <laughs> it's all a matter of opinion, isn't it, at the end That's of the day? Right. But uh, there we go. So anyway, we're on this one, which is uh, ten times the size. Right. So it's big stuff, you know. Excellent. We we'll go right down to way. just outside London. Oh, no. We we'll go right up to the Scottish border. Uh-huh. So it's not too bad at all. How are you? I'm all right. Are you okay? Yes. I haven't heard from you for Yonker. That's that. And are you off tonight? Uh, uh, we're working at the moment. What about uh, Leicester? In Leicester. Uh. Of course, we had a chat, didn't we? That's that. Very nice. Very nice. And are the rest of them still doing some work or are they having a brew up? We're, we're, on, we're on the brew at the minute. That's it. I've got the brew up all the time, That's isn't it? it? We'll be finishing in a minute when the better weather comes in. Any chance your autograph? Hey, listen, if I could do I'd be absolutely delighted. So, I mean, but I'll need to get, you need to give me a wee address or something like that. Right. We'll send you one, you know. Excellent, Scotty. Send me over a wee envelope and that, and I'll send you out the auto, no problem at all. Excellent. Be delighted. And you take care of yourself. Yes, same to yourself, Scotty. And love to Leicester. Yes, mate. And make sure they keep paying you the money, you know. That's it. <laughs> hey, dinky do. Oh, then, boy. Dinky do, boss. Cheers. See you now. Bye. All the best. See you there. There we are. Scott's got a wee bit homesick. See, come on for a wee chat. Brian from Wigan. Whoops. Brian's got a bit of a high pitched voice. Uh, I think we might have a job understanding him, so we'll talk to Haley. Hello, Haley, love. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do. How are you? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm bearing up, don't hmm? worry. Uh, what was I going to say? This is uh, a discipline of children. The disciplining of children. Yeah, you don't approve of smacking, no? Never, ever, 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 ever. Not in a million years should you smack a child. Oh, right, because I actually smacked mine on the bottom. Right, that's that. Right, Mick from West Houghton. Me, mate. How are you doing? You all right, mate? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm off my head, mate. I'd like to talk about the legalisation of cannabis, please, mate. The legalisation of cannabis? I hope you're against it. No, I'm all for it, mate, mate. Right, well... I rest my case. Uh, Don, who's in Canuck Chase. Are you there, Don? Hello, Don. Right. Sounds more like dusk to me. Sean, are you there, Sean? Hello? Hello, Sean. Hiya, Scott. Hiya, mate. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. You've had some... Absolutely. ...on tonight. Yes. I, I felt sorry for the... Um, for the radio being turned up. From the live from Liverpool. Yes. For the Falklands, you know. It's very, very Absolutely. Tough. Top man. Yeah. Especially yes. a, a man who fought in the Falklands for people. I know, I know. Fought for his country. As far as the person about cannabis... Oh, dear. I think he's a complete bloody idiot. Completely, Sean. Completely okay. lost the place. Anybody who takes drugs... Yep. ...is a total, complete fool. You're correct, sir. I back you up. And it's lovely to speak to you, Scott. It's a joy to talk to you, Sean. You know, you're the top man. 
I love Scotland. You'll never do any harm up there. I love the bagpipes. Yes, we've got them for you. The loveliest. Would you like to all try type of music would, is the old bagpipes? Would you like to try and blow them up for me? I will do. Uh, and can I say hi to my granddaughter while I'm here? Say hi to granddad, yes. Get this get the blow stick in your mouth. Hi to beautiful Rebecca. And are you ready? From her grandparents. Beautiful Rebecca. In Southport. In Southport? Yeah. No problem. Do you want to blow these pipes up? Get the pipes on, Scotty. Here we go. You ready? Ready, mate. Right. A big breath. Go on. Go on. Keep them going. Go on. Yeah. Keep them going. Go on. Brilliant. Ah, well done. Proud for Scotland. No problem at all. Thank you very much. Hey, dinky do. Scotland. Oh, there you go, Scotty. All right, I'll not hold you up. Thanks very much, Sean. Uh, Laura from Stockport, are you there? Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, lovey. Hello. Hello. How are you? Doesn't matter. Good. <laughs> now then. Right. Right. Oh. Do you speak at all, love? Pardon? Do you speak English? Yeah. Yeah, do you want to try it? Yeah, right. I'm doing childcare. Yes. At college. Right. Um, I don't think you should smack children, but mm. I think you should when they're young. No, you shouldn't. But not a bit. No, you shouldn't ever at all. <laughs> really, really, no. No, thing. even supposing they're absolutely wicked. Even if they killed someone. What? What? A nine-month-old child killing someone? No, not when they're babies. I think you're going to get flung out of childcare going on like that. Oh no. No, oh, yes. No, I look after kids all the time. I wouldn't I trust. I you. don't smack them. I wouldn't trust you to look after my hamster. No, I don't. After your hamster. Yes. I wouldn't hit a hamster. All right. <laughs> I like animals, I wouldn't hit a hamster. Oh, thank God. <laughs> right, lot I wouldn't hit a hamster. Stuart, see you there, Stuart. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Dinky mate. Dinky How are you? Oh, very well indeed. Very well, thank you. Mm. Uh, just a couple of points, uh, Scotty, about mm -hmm. the children, smacking children. Yes. Uh, myself and my good lady have been married 30 years next month. Yes. Um, we've three children, and we've never sort of resorted to smacking them. Fantastic. Um, we've, we've talked to them, and that's the way to get through to them, Scotty. Talk to them and try not to sort of get the physical side, because I think it reflects on the children when they grow up. Of course it does. I could not agree more. Yeah. Could not agree. If you'd seen this young man's face yesterday, it was just he didn't know where to put himself. Right, yeah. You know, and the mother had done it for humiliation. It, well, I can she was a, She was just a little... You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you can talk to them, Scotty. Both me and my wife are in agreement that uh, talking comes better than uh, the, the hound, you know. You and your wife are spot on. Yeah. We've been married 30 years next month on the 15th. Fantastic. And uh, she's called Joyce, my wife. She's lovely. Hello, Joyce, lovey. Yeah. Hello, Joyce. <laughs> All right, dinky do. She's doing a word puzzle. Dinky do, he Dinky says. do. <laughs> Absolutely. Good to you there, Scotty. Hey, good to talk to you, mate. Just um, like to get the point over, you know, about these children. Yeah, absolutely spot on. Uh, we've got another grandchild coming in uh, January. Isn't that marvellous? Hopefully on the, uh, the 16th, which is the daughter's birthday. Oh, um, she's that'll make daughter. it a little Capricorn, won't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're looking forward to that, Scotty. That's great. Well, you give us a ring then when the little one arrives. Well, there's Scotty. Because we always like to keep up to date on here. Right. Yes. Okay. Well, nice speaking to you, Scotty. Uh, lovely to talk to you. Love to the family. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, dinky do. A dinky do and ta ta. And, then, and to you, sir. Thank you very much. Right, if you've just joined us, welcome to the programme. Quite a lot to get on with tonight. We're talking about uh, transplant patients um, who receives animals, hearts, and lungs uh, will have to sign a pledge never to have children. I think we should carry this pledge on to people who have got any congenital illness that they wouldn't marry and have kids and therefore pass that on. So I want your views on that, please. Numbers once again: oh one six one four hundred double o double o or oh double one five nine one zero six one zero six. You're listening to Scotty McClue. We are live on Century, and also more than three out of four people think it's reasonable to discipline a child with a smack a poll has revealed yesterday 